But this is a massively, massively important issue. I'm glad that we can now actually have this chat. Because Michael Gove yeah. made the very pertinent point that it appears that not only was the extent of the Islamist extremist infiltration of our education system potentially not dealt with at the time, but it is also still a, a, a concerted attempt to cover up the fact that it ever happened at all, is that not? I mean, that's a key point. And in your monologue, you mentioned, uh, you talked about the word Islamophobia. Uh, people like Christopher Hitchens started warning about this to us towards the end of the uh, to, uh, late 2000s about the, the fact that certain words like Islamophobia are going to be created and they're going to be used uh, to shut down debate as well as to, in a, in, a, in a hidden way, promote the dark sides of the ideology. And you know, if you say anything bad against it, then you're in trouble. You've already mentioned all the important issues there when it comes to you know the scandals that we had in 2014-15 and everything else. It goes beyond that. It goes beyond just infiltration uh, to push for the ideology uh, because it kind of, uh, firstly, exposes uh, the notion that uh, those people who say every single person who comes from the Middle East or North Africa um, are running away from extremism, so they want to come here. But if that were the case, then why would they, and again, and some of them come here to actually still promote the ideology, but again, not just promote, they are um, implementing certain things like Sharia courts, uh, like uh, the forced marriages inside the United Kingdom. Yeah. Grooming scandals still going on, and that's the biggest problem. Yeah, we're going to be discussing a little bit later on, actually, with our very own Charlie Peters, a, a, a really concerning issue that involves the Labour Party and grooming gangs. Not the first time that we've ever heard that, and certainly won't be the last time we ever say it, unfortunately, as well, when it comes to the Labour Party on that. But, Mayor, on this issue now, I'm keen to drill down and get your views. Do you think that people use the term Islamophobic or racist as a way of actually covering things up, frankly, stopping people to discuss it? Yeah, I mean, um, it, as I say, to shut down the debate, but at the same time, uh, to turn the blind eye to the actual risks, they the ones who are mostly pushing for this uh, uh, this kind of narrative that you know, oh, you're Islamophobic, you're racist, you're this. Uh, some of them are actually the useful idiots uh, from the, the the liberal left wing side, and some know exactly what they're doing. Uh, the, the the hard left ideology, whatever you want to call it, you know, cultural Marxism or whatever they are, hmm. far leftists, they've been doing it for years. They have been also utilizing. Any marginalized groups, they create marginalized groups, basically. They don't really like Islamism, uh, but they are using and they're turning a blind eye to the dangers of Islamism as long as it brings down the Western society. 